everybody and welcome to the Kauai Kids Club. This is going to be our second project part of April Kit. And it's the painted bottle cap magnets. In your kit you'll find these two little magnets that are made from bottle caps. Okay everybody, for this project we're going to need some paint brushes, some water, and some acrylic paints. And you can get all these supplies, um, or I mean the paints and the brushes, from my quarantine supply guide that's on my website. First I'm going to paint the Sheba. I think I'll paint him on this one. I'm gonna start with this bigger brush. Get it a little wet. And I'm gonna mix these two colors, blue and white to make a nice soft blue. And then I'm going to paint his little face or just his head first. Starting with a circle for his head and this the head isn't really A perfect circle. It's more like an oval. You want to get a nice thick layer so it'll just take a moment for that to happen. So now I have a nice little oval and I can still see the pink coming through the bottom so I just want to give it another layer. all blue. And then I'm gonna give him some little ears so one will go it's just a little triangle one will go right here do 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 and another will go right here this actually could easily become a kitty cat as well but it's all about what we do inside the face that makes it either a cat or a sheep. So I'm just going to let that dry and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did a second coat of paint and let that dry too. And now I'm coming in with a really fine tip brush and I'm just gonna go right here and make a little boat for the muzzle, muzzle area. So. It 
it's gonna be kind of like a thick banana or something or like a bean So, I hope you can see just by the shape that I'm doing here, it's going to need a couple coats. And it's going to need to dry also. But you get the general idea. We're just making a little simple muzzle using the shape of like a nice bean or a U or um, what else does this look like? How about you tell me? All right, so do a couple coats of those and let them dry, and we'll be right back. Okay, now my little Sheba muzzle has dried. I did two coats of that, and now I'm just gonna come in with some black paint. I'm still using my little BB detail brush, and first we're gonna give him a little nose. See, it just already looks like a Shiba as soon as you put that little circle nose there. And then two tiny little hooks for the mouth. You gotta be really careful with your brush in this one to make sure that the lines are thin enough. I'm just gonna add a little bit to this side. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then I'm just outlining his ears a little bit right here. Bloop, bloop. Okay, and then gonna give him two little eyes. So one goes like this. Bloop. I'm just gonna turn him upside down for the other one so it's easier. It's just a little line that has kind of like a wing tip at the end. There you go. Oh, okay, so they're not totally even. So I'm just gonna work on rounding the line out a little bit. There you have it. Now, the last thing we're gonna add is his two little eyebrows. So one goes over one eye like that. It's just a circle. And the other goes like that. So those are his eyebrows. And now I'm going to mix a little bit of red into my white. I don't need that much. And I'm just gonna give him two little cheeks. So right here, we're just kind of adding a little flush to his cheeks. And there you have it. It's a little Sheba. And Hmm, I kind of feel like making something cuter here. 
I'm just going to paint a little heart here. have it a little sh a little love Sheba all right now let's work on the next one oh it's a magnet okay you know you can attach these to your fridge right as a decoration cute <laughs> 